guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, I am doing something fun. Today I'm making candy, goat milk candy. It's crazy how much goat milk you get. So when you get goat milk, you wanna drink it and use it quickly because it doesn't last very long. So you end up making all this stuff that you would never make before. Also made shepherd's pie for dinner. It still needs to go in the oven and be cooked, but I made it this morning so I could get it done. Also, this is how milking is going. So I have all this milk and that's from yesterday. Like, I can't even keep up. And then, on the bottom of our fridge, we have all these eggs. And then you can't see, but back in that bowl are goose eggs. I literally need fridges just for our farm. And in the fall, hopefully we'll have turkeys and maybe chickens, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about getting some meat birds, but I think that we kinda have enough going on. <laughs> Spring is always the busiest time of the year for us. So adding like the goats and milking and all that kind of stuff and all the different animals has been a lot and we have like a lot happening soon. We're buying a horse, we're buying two more goats. Uh, so I think that's gonna be it for us. Like I really think that that's it for this season. One horse, two more goats, and I think that's it. Except for that there may or may not be a couple more chickens, a couple different breeds. So if he's still selling chickens, uh, once we get down to like 12, um, I wanna add a couple more breeds for next season for selling. But that's it, candy and a shepherd's pie for dinner. Wow, it is gorgeous out today. So, pig, Piggy, Posey is a nightmare. <laughs> so let me try and explain a little bit better. I get a lot of comments saying like, I have to take off my sweater. I get a lot of comments saying like, put her in a pen, put her in like a whatever, but that's not what she wants to do. Like I could put her in a stall, I could put her in a pen, but she would be just as unhappy in there as she is being in the house. The problem is, is that she wants to wander and explore and it's really important to me that she has good mental health. Every time we come out and the chickens come running, it just makes me laugh. Come here, penguin boy. So cute, so cute. <laughs> I wonder if you guys have seen, have noticed like how gentle pigs are. Sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, how gentle she is. Like she goes up to every animal and she's never mean ever, like to any animal ever. She's good with the chicken, she's good with the duck. She's terrible with the horses, but only because she's so gentle and they like chase her. She is gentle, she's just sweet. She doesn't think anybody will ever hurt her. Uh-oh. Stuff is happening. Think of my rooster. Anyway, we've lost all of our eggs. They're laying eggs someplace. We don't know where that it where they are. Come here, Posey! It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Sophie thinks they're across the road, so we're gonna try and look around today. And we're gonna Sam has two doctor's appointments today. He's still doing physio, so Unfortunately, he can't help me today, but we're we're finishing our chicken coop. I'm gonna try and clean it out today, and we're gonna finish it, and he's gonna make it so that the chickens are only behind the chain link fence. And then we can let the guineas out. So, that's the plan, but I wasn't expecting it to be summer. Oh my gosh. These are two more roosters that we have that need to leave. Look at how cute they are. Like, they are beautiful. What's really weird though, you should fill up your duck's pool, Sophie, so he can swim. I lost my pig. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I'm just gonna have to, like I want her to be outside in this warm weather, but she can escape every field. I put her in the most airtight field I can put her in and she still gets out. Anyway, what I've learned that's really interesting is that no matter what the species, there's always a hierarchy there's always somebody trying to be dominant over someone else, like in the chickens. The chickens do it, the goats do it, the horses do it. I don't know about the pigs, but I'm imagining that they do it. You needed to scratch? Is that why you ran over here? You just needed to scratch. I want a hammock. Yeah, I want, oh, a hammock, Sam. Find us a hammock. Drop down this one. We need like a nice hammock. No, that tree won't bother it. We need a really nice hammock. On the hammock. All right, this is a perfect spot for a hammock. I love it. I could lay out here with my pig on my lap and my dog on my lap and... It's my hammock. No, it will be all of our hammock. Gotta share, Sophie. Well, it's my swing. You guys don't use it. 
Yeah, we don't ever use the swing. I'd like a hammock though. Um, today's a good day to work Cut in my garden. Out. Cut that out, I tripped. So, I'm um, super getting super excited about Sophie's new horse. Yeah, we're so excited. Anyways, um, I think we're probably gonna get her. I can't be sure, like unless she goes lame in the next two weeks, we're probably gonna get her. Like, we love her. What I was saying the other day that I got distracted and didn't finish saying is that when I saw a horse in that stall when Chino was dying and God was showing me like, don't worry, there's another horse. There's another horse that's gonna take your heart. And I knew it was for Sophie, which I didn't understand at the time because back then we were looking for a horse for Gabby, like she was gonna get another horse. And then since then she's decided that she's gonna stick with just Storm. So I didn't understand that at the time, but since then I saw, so when I saw this horse, that God kept showing me this horse that we were gonna get. It was gonna come into our lives and we were gonna love. It wasn't so, so tall. I thought it was a boy, so I don't know. But this horse had like a goofy element of, about it. Like it, I could see its personality and it was settled and calm and happy. And it had this goofy part of its personality, which I love in a horse. Like I love that in a horse so much. And so I keep on watching like this horse every time we see her and I keep thinking like, is this the one? Like, how do I know? And then when I was watching Sophie ride her, there was this moment where Sylvie was standing in the arena and she was just standing there, right? And she was beside some jumps and then what happened? She picked up the jump. She started picking up the jumps. <laughs> yeah, like I could just, and she was just goofy about it. Like she just was like bored and wanting to have fun. And I don't know, I just, that one thing just keeps sticking with me. Like it's the only thing I can connect this horse to my dream. But anyway, so we're gonna see. Um, and there's the status of my blister. I got a blister last week. It looks like there's a worm in it. There's no worm in it. It's it looks just like blood. There could be. There's not. Come on the horses. <laughs> All right, come on guys, we're going to the horses. We're just, just chilling here because I have to watch the devils. <laughs> Actually, Ellie always stays with me. Come on. Come on, Piggy Piggy. Yeah. Kidnapper van. Kidnapper. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Come on, Piggy. <laughs> Maybe the eggs are under there. I see some fluffy butts. Come on. Oh, it's actually cool in here. Come on, Posey. Are you coming? All right, I don't want to leave her in there because at least I know she's safe. Yesterday we watched, oh my gosh. Right from the roof. Wow, how did that happen? I don't know. How did that it happen? Was a tide, though. But it doesn't matter. Was it in anymore. that field? It was in that spot, but it wasn't like that. Where though? Where did you find it? Storm, be nice. See, Penny's just standing here, and Storm came out in and said, "Get the heck away." It was in the middle of the floor. Yeah. <gasps> but Penny's the one that has. She doesn't want to leave because she wants me. Because she's in heat. Is she in heat? Well, what you doing with the tail? Yeah, what are you doing with your tail? Scotty. She's got she's got bites on her again. <sighs> Storm. Normally you only let me kiss you once. That's not good. But you can see it's right here. So, oh my goodness. It's okay, honey. It's okay. You thought it was honey too. <laughs> I thought it was honey's hair. Nope. You guys saw I packed a bunch of saddle pads, half pads. I want to make sure like when we try this horse that we have everything exactly right. Every time we try a horse, I swear we never get it right because we don't have all the right equipment for her. Because when you try a horse, you never have like their equipment. But I have like a Ogilvy pad and it's Gabby's, <laughs> but I'm sure she'll let us use it. So I'm just gonna find that. Yep, she's in heat, it's a good thing. It's a warm day, I can wash her legs off. All right. So she does have a little cut, I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's just wait, hold that spot. Oh, see, she's got a cut here. Oh, and she's got a cut right there, so yeah. Poor girl. So what are we gonna do with another mare? Be so, mad. so I don't know if she's young enough that she'll like 
she has like a more playful personality. I don't know if he will bond with her and he, she could like take over him. I feel like Penny would like her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the big reasons that we wanted to get a gelding was because for, for Storm, he's so playful and he just wants to like be out there and having fun with his herd. He doesn't want like old ladies that just stand there. No offense, Pen. no offense. All right, I'm just gonna go in the house and get some super warm water for your butt. Hey, I like to wash all the pee off because when you brush it, it, it can pull off the hair too. And Penny's one of those horses that's like really funny about when she's in heat. She doesn't open her legs wide enough. She's not careful. She just lets the pee run everywhere. So she loves a good wash. Yeah, look at that. But because we're like freezing cold six months of the year, she only gets it through the spring and the summer when it's warm. Look at that. Look. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. I have to rinse it all off with fresh water. I'm not going to brush her mane today because she has that cut on her head and it's probably sore from having her hair ripped out. So I'm gonna wait and do that. She's like, yes, please, just wait. Look at how kind her eyes look today. But I, I am gonna brush her tail though. Let's move our bucket. It's pretty dirty. Come on, Pen. Come on, sweet girl. Go out and be free. Don't let boys touch you, hurt you. Be kind. Be oh my God, no treats for you. I already gave them to you. She's used to getting a treat after she gets off the... Penny, look, this is your new friend. That's your new friend, Pen. You're gonna have a friend. She's a happy girl. So uh, this is the stall that I saw the horse in when Tina was dying. God showed me like a horse so many times in this stall. And it's actually, it's actually probably bigger than that stall, but we are gonna put honey. No, we're gonna put Willow in this stall. And we're gonna put Sophie's horse in this stall. Willow actually looked at the photo. Did she? Did she approve? Yeah, I think so. Sophie is introducing the horses to her new horse by picture. <laughs> yeah. She's like, do, do they approve, Sophie? They do. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do with her is just take her with me and every time I have to be busy and I'm not watching her, stick her somewhere. So right now I left her in the barn so she could be safe. And then when we go down to the goat barn, <laughs> she likes to go down there. <laughs> Wait for me, Ellie. <laughs> so we have chickens in the goat field, pigs and dogs. <laughs> and goats. And goats. My baby boy. <laughs> is it a standoff? Are they preventing you from going in? <laughs> All right, so today marks eight weeks since our last baby goat was born on this farm. Oh, seven days and counting. Why are you laying down? Yeah, why are you laying down? Let's feel her ligaments. But she still has seven days. No, she has six days left. Six days, but today marks the eight week anniversary of our triplet babies and they are really close to 20 pounds they're not quite 20 pounds yet but we are going to remove them and Dude. they they are going to go so we're going to remove them today they're going to go with the boys they're going in the boy pen i love having a boy pen it'll be so quiet over here for the mamas it'll be quiet does she look like she's in labor to you? She looked like she was in labor to me yesterday. See, that's why I like Mocha, because she screams. Yeah, she's Mocha in labor. screams in labor. Like, she just starts screaming. <laughs> but she did this yesterday. I don't think she's in labor. I'm going to feel her ligaments, and we're going to see. All right, she doesn't like to be touched. So, let's see if we can go really slow. I mean, really fast. Just checking out your ligaments. I'm too far. Oh, she's got ligaments still. Definitely got ligaments still. 
and her udder has not popped, although she has a nice size udder. Her, she's the same udder as her mom. Here we go. Yep, you made the wrong choice by being a boy. Everybody's getting separated now. Friendly today, actually. Oh, because he came over to you? And the truth is, is that just because they hump another animal doesn't mean that they can get them pregnant. Okay. It's only after they're extending. So none of our boys are extending yet. Got him! <laughs> Good job, Grain to the rescue. He is so stinking cute. But you have your mom's personality. Yeah, cutest one has the mom's personality. Yeah. All right, Piggy, we're leaving. Wait, don't go that way. Come on, we're leaving. I uh, washed all of our fly masks, or a bunch of our fly masks, so we gotta take those to the barn. It's crazy. I know, so Sophie, I was just thinking, are you gonna be showing this year? Yes. So if we get this mare, which we are getting the mare, unless something crazy happens, like it turns up lame or something, which I'm sure it won't. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we're getting her, and we're so excited about her. And Sophie's gonna show this whole season on her, and she's gonna show it like, not like crazy. Obviously she's not gonna be ready for like major jumping or anything, so she's just gonna show like something small with her, but we're excited and we can't wait to figure all that out. But Sophie's gonna get to show on her new horse this year. Hey, come on, now we're going this way. Posey, Posey, come on, Posey. Yeah, I'll wait, come on, Posey. Come on, Posey, no, don't go with her. Posey. All right. Screaming. We have not made it to the barn yet. <laughs> Sophie thinks that she can find the eggs. You do? Yeah. It's a Sam's junk pile. Wait. <gasps> Chickens are so smart. You know why? They leave like four or five in the regular spot for us. Those are new. That's a green one. Those are green little ones. A green one, we got a green one. All right, how are we gonna get them? <laughs> That's so cute. Those are all brand new baby eggs. Like who lays those little tiny things? So not only did we find the nest, but we got new eggs. Like these are not the same egg chickens laying all the time. These are new chickens laying. Like we don't have any green this layers. So deformed. It's so cute though. Let's see this one. That one's green. They're both this green. This is blue, this one's green. No, they both look green. And they're tiny. Yeah, because they're just starting. All right, well, let's go tell Dad. The chickens were looking at us. She's like, did you find them? Because they're probably her eggs. <laughs> they're so funny. That's what we found. No, not chicks, but Sophie found the nest. Where was it? Under the trailer? Under and look. Wheelbarrow. Look, Your old look wheelbarrow. at them. Come and pick some out. There's new ones, they're green. We got green eggs for the first time in our whole entire life. Oh, wow. You see them? Eggs, dude. <laughs> I know. So we left one. We're hoping that they'll, well, we can trick them by leaving one. Hey, that's a bad spot. <laughs> I was gonna say we lost the pig. In all that excitement, we lost the pig, but huh, she's right here. Look. <laughs> They're all Come on! And these guys are all hanging out here. Oh, you little rats! They're eating the eggs! That's so rude! So uh, there were six in there. These ones are all like more mature eggs and they ate three. My question is, where's the black boy? Where's the black boy? Uh-oh. Oh no. This is scary. What are you doing in here? He's like, I was all alone without my brothers. <laughs> Did you drink all the milk? Oh. <laughs> Blossom. I mean, Lola. Lola and Cricket. Now that I have so much milking to do, Sophie ends up being the poor girl that has to do all the work, and I just milk. I got this little brat. <laughs> Goodbye. That's your last time. We'll have to figure, I think I know how he got in. Just take it. So we ended up having to break out the milking machine. I'll show you how much milk right. we Going got. <laughs> when we get back to the house, we only milk two goats. I'm gonna trip myself on this. Don't do that. We found three more eggs in one of their hiding spots. We found so many eggs today. All right, let's go. Everybody, let's go. That's the only good thing about the rain. Posey does not like it, so. Oh, look at Toad, he was yapping at me. If it rains, she's in the house. She goes in the house. So these are our eggs. For today, uh, plus three got eaten. 
a lot of these little tiny eggs come from like our silkies or our tiny little hen. And these ones I think are from uh, new layers. So when a chicken first starts to lay, they lay really small eggs until they kind of grow. Um, you can kind of see the difference between this blue and this green. But you can really see the difference between this blue and this green. Can you see it? Blue and green. Super cute. This is how much milk I got tonight. Let's see. It should tell me how much. It says 42 ounces. I got 42 ounces, but it's only from two goats and it's only for one milking. I milk twice a day. And because Milka's babies just left yesterday, um, she's really engorged right now. So it takes forever to get all the milk out. And I still haven't been able to get all the milk out. So after I was done, like I could not pump anymore. Use the electric pump. It just, ugh, she had so much milk. I couldn't get it all out. So what I ended up doing was just letting the boys finish the rest of it and emptied her out completely. So she's comfortable. And so I should get more from her. That's still a lot of milk. Like we're making too much milk for our family right now. <laughs> like nobody drinks it except for me. And I'm going to start freezing it and so I can make soap in the fall. But anyway, that's for tonight. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way